Greetings, Petroheads. Welcome back to Automation the Car Company Tycoon Game. Let's dive right into this. We are going to proceed on to 1961. And I see it. I see this one. Uh, but, you know, 1961, I think isn't the time for 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 this company to go completely over the top yet let's stick with this for now let's give this uh, body a try uh, and then for the next generation we could you know in 1966 67 or so when america went mad for horsepower we we can make something with that in 1961, of course, there, there were already like big Cadillacs and whatnot, but um, that's pretty much, you know, the Mustang wasn't a thing yet. I think the, the first Camaro came out in 1964 as well, so overall, 61 is just a little bit too early to really start with the huge V8. And this, by the way, is gonna be a mid-sized sedan then so this in any case is gonna be a 1961 Athena SM1 and I like the idea of um, of sort of copying yeah, what is more more BMWs than uh, Mercedes as nomenclature tradition um, this is gonna be the 135 I guess because it's uh, it's a first generation and it's gonna have a, a, a one iteration of the 3.5 liter V8 that we, that we built last time. Uh, so in any case, it is gonna have a leather chassis from steel and uh, you know, again, I don't know what kind of, whether we're gonna go for um, standard or advanced safety on this one because like, in, in 1960, in 1961, what what even was advanced safety? An airbag, perhaps. <laughs> um, what I'm saying is, it's it's it, it'll probably add more to your car's safety if you just use steel panels rather than you know aluminium or fiberglass, than uh, having that other than having uh, fiberglass, uh, for example panels and then adding advanced safety rather than standard so what what do we do with with these fixtures here um, let's go with one of these down here perhaps or is that a little bit too modern of a fixture, too modern of an indicator look. Yeah, I think it's fine. Then for now, let's put down a little bit of a wider variant of of this this grill, which we've always put upside down. Like that. And maybe a little bit narrow like that. And then I'm gonna put one of these up here. And perhaps a little bit of chrome. Actually, what about this? Oh, that'll actually cut away the indicator. Which means we are going to replace you with one of these. And make this a little bit shorter.
Yeah, okay. Or... We don't have very much cooling, but enough for that small V8. Pretty, pretty, I'm pretty sure about that one. Um, chrome door handles. that and then I think I'm gonna put the indicators down separately like that to round things up and then um, let's do our usual thing again with the Athena riding that is probably that is probably not gonna be the case forever i think like at some point in the future we're gonna stop having this you know chrome leather writing of athena on the back of each car i think this is something that makes the car sort of look special or something Something that will, you know, make it a little bit more unique. Obviously, it isn't the only car that ha had or that has such chrome writing on the back. Even Fords have that, or like the Ford Ranger and whatnot. So I, it's it's not. Um, excuse me. Can we talk about this? There we go. Uh -huh. No, that's not the one I wanted to move. Um, again, it's very hard to select the A for some reason. Okay. Now we can move on. tall enough no not yet well, I clearly clicked on a T why would you select the A Oh, so this is as far as I can go with the letters, huh? Um, excuse me. Um, now I can't select any any of them anymore. What? Okay, now now it's time to move something down. Excuse me, I click up here and it selects the H down there and, and drags it all the way down. That is not how the game is supposed to work, I'm pretty sure. Um, also, please just let me... <sighs> this is such a hassle. Look, I, I can't select the T. I cannot select the A either. Nothing. There we go. Why does this have to be so hard? Look at it. I would like to move this A, please. 
I am clearly s and there we go. No, not not make it bigger. Now I'm gonna have to select it again. What? Okay, I'll select something else in the meantime. Then we try and clone this H, move it all the way to the center where we can be. And now this H is starting to look sort of weird. We have to put it further up. Okay. Now just put the T in between those two. If I could for once uh, get the T. Uh, okay, we have it. Okay. Now the H. I'm just gonna click on it. No, that's the T. That's the that's the T. That's the other thing. Uh, oh, we got it. No, don't rotate it. That's not what I, that's not what I told you to do. There we go. Okay. Now, if we could, you know what? Okay, you become an E. Then all we need is an N. Okay. We made it. And then what we need is a number plate over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's going to round things up. Man, the thing with the chrome letters, it's sort of starting to really annoy me. I think this looks pretty decent in black. Black suits these sort of uh, cars with lots of chrome, like the Rolls Royce and whatnot. Um, as far as engines go, no, this, that should be moving a little bit more quickly. It's just the, the chrome letters that are, that are always annoying. Uh, we have a 1960. Engine block. If only I could find it. Uh, there we go. So we are not going to use the same iteration of this engine. We are going to retweak it for this car. Um, move on to 1961. And gonna go with a two barrel. Actually with a four barrel, but with a single carburetor, I think. Oh, with twin? No, twin. Twin is a little bit too expensive, I think. Um, that actually lost us some power overall. Um, gonna go with higher cam profile. Higher rev limit. Now we have a little bit of valve load, but you know, what engine doesn't in this sort of era? 140 horsepower. We're also going to go with tubular exhaust, which gives us one more horsepower. Long tubulars will, will give us two more on top of that. 
Um, this gives us some more torque. Okay. 143 horsepower. Um, that made it worse. What else could we really do? This doesn't help us. Okay, let's let's leave it at that. We can get a free speed automatic box for this thing. No diff. Um, One fifty five all around, I think, is okay. Medium tires, steel, magnesium rims. I don't think that, that those were really popular in in nineteen six in the nineteen sixties. Um, Three point five liter. Um, Or, it, or retune rather. Let's go with solid discs to to make the sort of Im to uh, sort of create a little bit of an image of uh, you know advanced safety technologies. I mean, brakes contribute to a car's safety. That's pretty much not to be disputed. Um, five seats with handmade interior. I think. I think since we've been around for five years, we've improved moderately enough to put this at zero percent. A phonograph, power steering. Well, well, let's see. Advanced sixty safety, however. Hmm. Let's, let's see, I mean, it's not like, you know, this this weighs 8.3 kilograms, this weighs 25.5. It's not like those 17 kilograms are really going to make a difference on this car. Um, progressive springs may be good. Comfort setup. 33.5 drivability is really good. Um, comfort is 35.6, prestige 33.5. Safety is 23.4 for the advanced. 40.3, that's actually a significant difference. While not adding very much costs. Yeah, okay, 1200 kilograms. 11.3 seconds isn't too bad, acceleration wise. Mm hmm. So now we're gonna go in. Um, excuse me. Okay. Uh, right. I'm getting a couple of error messages for engineers and whatnot not being found. Okay. Alright, uh, I guess I'll do that another time then. Um, let's see, how much would this cost? Well, basically $20,000 in today's money. How much is that in 1961's money? Like 2500 2600 Something like that. Hmm. 
that is the uh, you know what I'm gonna make an estate version of this as well Yeah, why not? Oh, we are losing quite a lot of uh, drivability on this thing. Probably because of the changed weight distribution. Might want a slightly narrower front then. We're losing all sportiness when if we do that. But then again, this is an estate that is not meant to be sporty, so... They what? Excuse me? Why don't you change the freaking tires? There we go. Alrighty. 11.2, yeah, it is a different weight distribution. This will go 182 kilometers an hour, this estate. Uh, not too bad. Probably the fastest estate car in 1961. Okay, a little bit of a flame spitting action going on from uh, second to third gear. Yeah, but then in third gear, the acceleration isn't really that impressive anymore. Keep in mind, though, that we're all only rocking 143 horsepower, so not too surprising that it's not pulling like crazy in third gear when third gear is the last gear. So, uh,. Yeah, okay, I, I guess I can call that good now. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Automation. Leave a like or, or a comment if you did. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.